Today is the day you've all been waiting for. We're gonna be talking about the live shovelers from Final Approach. This is the last video of this series talking about the new puddle duck decoys that came out from Final Approach this year. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you guys haven't hit the thumbs up for me, please be sure to do that. Additionally, if you're not listening to Outdoor Limits podcast, head over to wherever you get your podcasts and look up the Outdoor Limits podcast. Hit subscribe and stay tuned for all the new episodes that come out over there. Let's talk about the live shovelers from Final Approach. They are a six pack, all drakes. You get three of the upright position and three of the surface feeder position. This is a decoy that I was extremely excited about when I first saw it. I thought that the paint scheme was just out of the park. It looked great and uh, it was just spot on lifelike, fully plumed shovelers. These decoys are in EVA, so they're nice and squishy and they're gonna take a beating really well. You're not gonna have to worry about cracking. Here is the feeder. Nice close look at him. The paint scheme on both of these is pretty much the same. They look really good, got a lot of color to them. Nice spot on colors too for a fully plumed shoveler and uh, Nice little boot lips on there. I mean, these, these decoys, the reason I like these decoys the most is because of the color. When you look at these things, the big white breasts on these just add so much color to your spread. You can see it from a long ways away. It gets the attention of ducks that are flying around and it is just such a solid decoy to put in your spread because of that eye-catching, attention-getting colors. These are the decoys I've kind of got some nitpicky things to say about. I hope that in the future things get dialed in. Maybe there's a manufacturing process that something was just messed up on the manufacturing end of these decoys because all of the other FA decoys with the same plastic, same paint stuff, they held up extremely well. The shovelers on the other hand, it seems like there's been a little bit of an issue with the paint adhesion on these and hopefully in the future that will get corrected because like I said, all these other decoys I've got, same paint, same plastic. I don't know if it's because these shovelers have so many different colors on them that the paint's layering and it's kind of coming off easier than other ones. But in all honesty, I'm not that nitpicky of a guy when it comes to my decoy wear and tear. I expect it to happen and I'm not surprised when it happens. So after a hard season of use, these decoys still look really good, still huntable for sure. Uh, the only noticeable places where paint's been coming off is a little bit on wherever it's white, a little bit on the sides here where they're rubbing together and then on the back tail and on the white ones again. So I don't know if the paint didn't cure correctly in manufacturing or something along those lines, but there is a little bit of paint wear and tear where it rubs and the black plastic comes through on the front. So, you know, to me, not a big deal. Um, I think in the future that will be corrected. FA knows about this and they're doing stuff to fix that for the next run of decoys for this fall. But same thing on the feeder, a little bit of wear and tear, nothing that you wouldn't really expect to see on any decoys. The size is good, the weight is fantastic. These are nice lightweight decoys. They're not super big either, so you can fit a lot of them in, a sled or a kayak or whatever you're using to get to where you're going. And uh, overall, I think they're pretty solid. Hopefully this next run of these things will have a little better paint adhesion and uh, this issue that I'm having here and many other people have had will kind of go away with that new run. So that is the live shoveler from Final Approach. Do I recommend them? Yeah, they're a great looking decoy. You just might have to take a little bit more care of them if the paint doesn't have any solutions coming with this next run of them. If you guys use shoveler decoys, let me know down in the comments why you like using shovelers in your spread or any other decoys for that matter. Let me know down in the comments. Let's start a conversation. Make sure to follow me on my social media. I got a Facebook, Instagram, head over there, give me a follow, go join the Outdoor Limits podcast Facebook group, listen to the podcast. There's tons of different stuff going on right now. It's getting busier and busier every single year and uh, it's been a lot of fun. So if you guys enjoy this, make sure to leave me a thumbs up and I will catch you guys on the next one.